Hey everyone, this is David from Toledo Antique, and I wanted to show you what it looks like when you're about to open a thrift store. So, um, we have this shelving. We got these shelving units here, and we just picked them up from Sam's Club. And this is what we're gonna use to uh, display items on. So I got a whole stack. There's uh, 10 shelving units there. And then this is our thrift store. It's like jam packed with stuff. <laughs> Talk about reflections, huh? Um, but, you know, we've got a lot of little treasures in there tucked away that need to be put on a shelf and displayed and just sold for pretty much what people are willing to pay for it you know I mean I'm not like super particular on the pricing on this stuff so I uh, you know can negotiate make deals and stuff like that um, and we have pretty good frontage on this big road it's called Woodville Road and you know there's like 16,000 vehicles that go by every day and so uh, I think this property and everything's on the rise right now because uh, we're gonna open the thrift store here, get some traffic through the plaza. Now, I, I told you guys already, but if you didn't know, this was like a foreclosed plaza that I picked up when it was really, really down in the dumps and, um, you know, trying to make bring it back and plant some nice flowers here and everything. So um, this is where I have my antique store and we just got, we have three tenants here in addition to my antique store, so we're like almost full. And if I put that thrift store in, pretty much the back unit is gonna be for storage, for uh, inventory that hasn't made it into the thrift store yet. And then the front two units are gonna be used as a thrift store. So I think it should be pretty fun. But my flowers, it's been pretty hot this year. So the flowers need a little bit of help, but you can see we got like little Dutch boy and girl here I was trying to sell them for 20 bucks but they're still here evidently but we have this little bougavalia flower it's making a comeback and uh, some beautiful flowers I guess that's a tropical flower so that's really cool and that's my camper over there I figured I might as well get something you know like trying to use the property rather than pay somebody to s for a place to store my camper but there's been this hawk hanging around here the last couple days and that's really interesting there's my uh trailer i use that to haul stuff around um but there has been this hawk oh there it is see the hawk is still here it's in the grass it's like living here now so i'm super excited because I love nature and I just don't want to upset that hawk, but I want to get you guys a good shot. I think he's liking the mice in this grass. So I'm not trying to chase him away, but he's been living at my plaza for like the last three days or so. And I had, uh, I hired a crew to, uh, look, he's hunting there. So I hired a crew to uh, mow the lawn and it has attracted the attention of this hawk. The hawk might have been displaced from its home elsewhere, I'm thinking, because there's a big construction project going on behind us. And so I think it's super cool. I hope that uh, he's here more and more. We have this grassy area, so it's a little bit of land for um, the hawk. And actually, it's kind of funny because I really like hawks and peregrines and always... Um, kind of looked at them at like like hunters um you know like I'm always looking for a deal looking for a way that I can uh you know further my cause a little bit and it just reminds me of the hawks they're flying over and looking for little mice and it's just so interesting that a hawk has kind of been hanging out of my class the last couple of days I think that's kind of like a really good omen so uh, I'm looking at it like that. <laughs> but it's kind of crazy. We got this big bird just hanging out here. So he's looking at me. He's looking at me. He noticed I'm watching him now. But uh, thanks for watching. And, you know, I think uh, it's definitely a good sign that we have this incredible bird hanging out at the plaza. 
Well, we're getting ready to build out a thrift store. So I have a feeling this could be really big. And I've been looking for a way to take my business to uh, new heights. And I think that uh, the thrift store is probably the way to do it. Maybe we'll be the next Goodwill, maybe the next Salvation Army. Uh, I'm pretty optimistic. If you wanna put in the comments any suggestions on a name for the thrift store, we have a couple names in mind, uh, which I probably shouldn't just put out there on YouTube at this point, but uh, we do have a name in mind and um, we think it's a really positive name and you never know how big this can become. We are very hopeful that uh, it will go to the next level. Over here, we have some really cool flowers. Um, I think I got, I planted mandevillas with petunias. Um, and I did this paint job earlier in the year, that gray paint job, I showed that previously. So here's the mandevilla and it's, it's blooming, it's in bloom and the petunias are doing all right. I think it's been pretty hot out. So some of the flowers, you know, they, bit of a boost and I haven't had much time to really uh, take close care of them so um, this is over by the hair salon at my plaza and um, the ladies at the hair salon they do uh, take care of the flowers that are near the salon so here's the other mandevilla now the other one obviously is doing better um, and some petunias but yeah uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. But just wanted to make an announcement about our thrift store. And you can see the hawk now is up on top of that sign. So he's perching at some of the higher points um, at the plaza. There used to be a bar here called the Venue. And that sign is um, for the bar. But uh, the hawk has made his little home up there. And let me see if I can get you guys a shot. I don't want to get... Uh, him aggravated we'll just put it that way <laughs> but uh definitely neat uh yesterday he was perched up on top of some lights in the parking lot and i hope he hangs around but i don't even know i don't even know if it's a boy or a girl hawk but see he he's always looking away from me i think he tries to ignore me when i'm around He's like, I don't see you. Oh, oh, there we go. And he is looking for more little critters over there. All right, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much.